All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the market today, the 5th of <clears throat> November. Now, yesterday I said movements would be in the US session, so there was nothing much to do until then. And that's the US session there. Okay, so until then the market was a bit slow. And as the market, as the US session happened, that happened. Now I said until 6:30, because 6:30 I said the market would turn around. So until 6.30, the market went up. And that, as you can see, is your 5 o'clock bar. And that's your 6 o'clock bar. And on the 6 o'clock bar, just the market just started turning. Okay, so until then, that was the move. And then the market turned. So today, the hours you want to look out for is 10.49 and 4.30. Uh, 10.49 and 4.30. All right. Um, you should also keep an eye out for 6.30. Today is a new moon. And um, so that also you should keep in mind if you've taken ATA from me. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at what's going on. This is gold. Silver, same kind of thing. As you can see, 6 o'clock there. Right, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock market retraces. So... I said we'd be going there, so we went there. And what else have I got here? Um, that's silver, SB500. That is your four o'clock bar, as you can see there. So 345, that's a three o'clock bar. Um, 345 was the hour for that one. Four o'clock, as you can see, market goes up. Let me just refresh that, bring it back. Um, and then let's take a look at the euro dollar. Euro dollar, the market comes down till 12. That's your four o'clock bar. So it's three, four, and then back down again. But the euro dollar, we're going short for, you know, since ages in any case. And Bitcoin was a bit choppy. But same kind of scenario here, as you can see, the market was up at four and then just down. Okay. So, as you can see, the astrological turning hours are pretty cool. And understanding until what hour you, you know, where you're going to get to until what hour and how you're going to turn is really good. I've got one more surprise as well. Yesterday, um, me and an ATA practitioner, Astro Technical Analysis practitioner, this is Ethereum. So we've been working on Ethereum and we've been figuring out how the future turns are going to be looking like. So we've kind of like mapped it out. Whoops. Let's get rid of that. So we kind of like mapped it out. As you can see, this just goes on until 2023, I think. So as you can see, we can see a lot <laughs> forward with this. And um, this is part of the ATA software, as you can see, we've got moon cycle calculations, price, time uh, calculations, all integrated into this. And this allows us to see how an asset can be actually, um, you know, turning. And it's pretty good as well. In fact, let me show you what we've got. Let's see, for example, this is 2022, right? Let's get to 2021. So for planets, um, for example, yeah, let's, for example, take a look at June 25, right? June 25, June 24, June 25, Ethereum. And let's make this daily. June 24, 25. Where are we? That's August, July. June 26 is there, as you can see. All right, so it made a low and then just big up move there, as you can see. So calculations are pretty cool. Um, we do have a plus or minus 24 hour rule, but in essence, it's pretty, pretty clo close. Uh, and as you can see, it's just working really well. It'll get, get you those days and you will know when the market is turning. And if you know a bit of technical analysis and you've got a bit of common sense, then, you know, 
having these um, days ahead will just, you know, be really good for you. You just know when things are turning around. Uh, what else? I won't go too far up, but that's about it. Okay. So we've done this for Ethereum. We can do this for anything. We can do this for Bitcoin and any other coin and any other asset, basically. Um, and you can use these kind of calculations to pinpoint days when the market will make a big swing or a medium swing or an intraday swing. But let's get back to our technical analysis for today. Now then, gold. Has somebody been saying buy gold every time it dips down? Uh, yeah, I guess that was me. So what can I say? Okay, so this is like, this was the zone. Yesterday, it just kept going up and that's what we were expecting. So I've been saying, please buy gold. This is all buy zone in this area here. This line is a buy zone. This line, this is all a buy area, okay? So if you were buying, good on you. And not much else to say. If it does pop its head back to your PST level, just keep buying, going up because you got levels up there. We're going to break this, I'm telling you. <coughs> um, and what you need to look out for is initially your resistance levels, but you will see down the line that we're just, you know, we're going to go over this. We're going to be moving up. So sense and sensibility prevails now with also silver i said guys this is a buy zone come on come on if you didn't get in what can i say i said this is a buy area that should be buying market went up yesterday the day before so come on you know now what well what do you think you know what do you think is up going up SP 500. I said, don't muck around with this. No need to muck around with this at all. Just let it do what it needs to do because it's got room here. Okay. Do you want to sell here? Don't sell until we get a decent impulse wave because it's a good push up and you don't want to stand in front of it. Let's take a look at the Oz 200. My beloved Aussie index. Oh, I must admit, I do miss Australia. Now, I did say we could be coming up here and here. And this would be a sell zone. Just be mindful all the indices are going up for some bizarre reason. But <clears throat> as you can see, this is a tightening up zone here. So what to do on the weekly? Um, just hang in there, I guess. All right. So this is a sell zone, that's for sure, on the red and the blue lines here. Um, and also be mindful for that goodbye kiss there, which is about, you know, which is matching there. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so that will be your first sell zone there. Let's take a look at Bitcoin in. All right, this is Bitcoin. Yesterday did that move after the US open. Now what to expect with this? Oh, sorry, that's Ethereum. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Look, Bitcoin is at a resistance here. You need to look out for the 66, okay? Because that's your zone there. If it breaks above this, it's goodbye. Okay, it's like going up. If it doesn't, we might just retrace a bit more, which I'd love to see a decent retracement so we can just boom nail it again personally i'm afraid to um, stand in front of this actually i might just also convert this um excel to bitcoin as well and then work on on the bitcoin as well to see what days it's turning around uh, and then we can you know look at it going forward from there so yeah Let's do that. Um, so Bitcoin, like I said, <coughs> if you want to buy, buying on the lines is okay. On your PSD, no problem at all. Um, if it breaks that, you know, you're going up, but buying on the lines is good to go. Okay, so on your PSD, 
buying on your support lines on an uptrend, you can't really go wrong. Ethereum, same kind of thing. I did mention with this, we've got the 5,000 level and I did say it'll come back for a good buy kiss. You can buy on a good buy kiss. Is that a good buy kiss? Well, that looks like a good buy kiss to me. Also on the blue line yesterday, on your PST line, market comes to your PST line and they buy. Okay, so sometimes they ask me, how do I know where I'm going to buy it? Well, that's easy because you just buy it on the PSD line. If you know your direction, if you've got a bit of technical analysis knowledge, obviously you've got to use it. This is not a robot. This is a trading strategy for a guy who's got his head screwed on. And what you've got to do is make sure you, you know, have some common sense. If the market is going up, you're going to buy. Where are you going to buy? On a support. And that's it. So the market pops his head down. Yeah, it's not on the blue line on the price, but it is on the PSD and PSD is what matters. What to do from here? Well, possibly going up, down. We might be bouncing up and around a little bit, but this possibly 4,800 and then 5,000 for Ethereum. Unless we have a surprise push down in the market. Um, I also mapped out its astrology. Um, and, you know, Ethereum looks nice. Let's take a look at DAX. The beautiful thing with the ATAM, it just takes minutes to look at everything. Now with DAX, we talked about double top, slightly higher with divergence, and that looks like where we're going. If that happens, we're looking to sell. And this is actually, look at that, the market did not move at all yesterday. So DAX just stood its ground. So this could be a good turnaround position for DAX. And that might be an option. Where would I like to sell this? Yeah, do it on a, just wait for this one, wait. If it comes up to the PST levels, I'd rather sell here in this zone. So wait for it. Dow Jones, let's take a look at that. It was at the top of the channel, kind of had a breakout the day before. And that's where we're, and I did say this is a sell zone, but this is good to sell this place. Okay, so if you're thinking about selling Dow Jones, this is definitely a good place to sell Dow Jones. Did I mention this yesterday? Maybe I did. Okay, so not a bad idea. All right, tight stop loss, where above your LCL one? There. So use those levels for everything. Let's take a look at the Euro dollar. Now Euro dollar, as you guys know, I am short since like months on this. And Euro dollar has got room to go down and I've been telling you guys to sell it for ages, ever since we were probably, where were we? Let me just check out the daily, I think. Oh, must have been since the beginning of the year. Possibly. Uh, probably from all the way around here, actually. Yes, May 2021. So I've been you know, telling you guys to sell the euro dollar every time it raises head up. And to sell and, sell, and look at that. That was already a beauty. I did mention that level, okay, 16, 80, 17 zone. Market sold again. I said, you need to sell it every time it raises head up and sell, sell. If it goes up again, sell, just sell and sell. Okay, you should have made a killing on this one. Has it got room to come down? Yes, it does. Just sell it on a resistance. Don't sell it on a support. Pound dollar, same thing. I've been telling you guys to sell this off. Also, as long as I've been telling you guys to sell Euro dollar. And once again, no surprises here. And that's it, basically. What can I tell you? And that's your New York opening. Da da. Okay, so that also fell. I did say there's not much really going to be happening to New York yesterday in a short video as well. And that's that. I've been also telling you guys to sell the 
pound dollar here as well. I've been telling you to sell it here, here, here. So, you know, not much to do now. And on the weekly, we're coming down here. So be careful here, obviously, right? So it's the support area. So when the market comes down here, don't you go be selling off here, all right? So be sensible. And let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this as well. And that's it. There's not much to talk about here, actually. There you go. Got a bit more room to come down, but hey, you know, if you're on top of it, if you're watching the videos, you should be on top of it. Since here, like two weeks ago, I've been saying sell on the PSD. And there you go. So if you missed that on it, don't worry about it. Let's take a look at NASDAQ for Joe. I said, Joe, don't touch it for a while. Yeah, don't touch it. Okay. It's got room to come up. You want to sell it. You want to do it up here. Okay. Other than that, don't do it. Okay. Just wait for it because it's a good push up here. All right. So there's a nice impulse wave here. So just wait for the tops and then do what you're going to do. Patience is uh, is a trait we need to integrate. Dollar CAD, I said buy it on pullbacks. If you bought it, good on you. If you didn't, well, well, I don't know. I said buy it from here. I've been saying buy it from here. It's a PST support line. What else can I say? All week, I've been saying buy it from the lows. So you could have bought here. You could have definitely bought here this week. Wow, on the pivot line there. Your PSD is low. When was that? Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Look at that. Tuesday, you could have gotten in for sure. And I think as well, we had this line here. You could have gotten in ages ago. Let me see. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So on the daily, it didn't really pull back, but... Yeah, it didn't really pull back on a PST, but on the I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said get in here because this was a weekly line there. So you should have been in there. Okay. No excuses for that one. For this week. That's your Monday. Which is Oh, that's 2350 level there. 46 was the weekly support. You should have gotten in there. Look, PST line, 42.42. There you go. 1.2346 is your buy. Come on. You would have had the bottom of the, bottom of the week. And you could have followed it all the way up to the well, the tops there. Look, it came up to all the targets now. Yesterday, I said go long as well, I reckon, because it was on the blue line too. So what can I say? This is going up. Pullbacks go long. We've got a long way to go. Dollar franc, same kind of scenario with this, guys. I said, you got to buy this. We're on the trend line. We're moving up. The PSD levels are good. So... If you're buying it, good on you. If you're not, you should consider buying it. Now, when to buy it? On the pullbacks here. If it pulls back here, you buy. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Okay. On the weekly, because if you miss the PSD lines, well, there's not much I can tell you. Okay. There's still a bit of room there. 42, 90, 73. So mark 90, 73. If it pops its head down, go for it. Okay, there you go. If it pops its head down, this is a buy zone. Let's go to dollar yen. Dollar yen also, we're in a uptrend. Pullbacks are good to buy, just make sure they're on your PSTs. Now they bought on a PSD yesterday. 
and we're on a PST support now. <clears throat> the soundest place I do recall making a comment that it was here, right? So we want the market to come down here and then you want to be buying. Okay, this is definitely what I want to do. If you bought on a PST yesterday, it wouldn't have been a dramatic thing for you simply because when you buy on a PST, it will make a move up and you will cover that trade. <clears throat> so if you did that, good. I did the same thing here as well. I can actually get rid of these GAN lines here. So got a sideways situation here, but on any pullback is good. Um, even look here again on a PST line, look at the reaction. So if you bought on the PST line on the daily right now today, 5202, 113.60, 113.56, 113.60 now, and the market's at 113.67. When you're buying with such a um, PST level, right? That's 13.60 there. Okay. All you have to do is put your stop loss there because it should not go lower. All right, so you shouldn't have a huge stop loss. You just should not. Okay, it should not go any lower because once you bought off a PST and it holds, that's it. If it doesn't hold, you just get out with a tight stop loss. So just put it under the low of the day, well, low of yesterday here in this case, and just wait for it. When the market gets to your white line or your daily, then all you got to do is cover the trade. What does that mean? Take partial and just keep moving upwards a little bit with your stop loss and that's it. All right, so that's not too hard. Hope that works for all of you. Any dramas, questions, let me know. And um, for those who are doing the Astro um, Timing Analysis course, right? Um, now, Ethereum I've done. For those who are taking the course, anyone interested in doing any other cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, I haven't done it yet. So like with, um, Joe, we did the NASDAQ um, and um, we did the Ethereum yesterday with Yale and that's about it. Yeah. So I've got SP500, Euro Dollar, NASDAQ, Ethereum, Gold. And I'm not sure if I did silver, but I'll check it out. I probably might have done that. And yeah, that's about it, but we can work on these. And these are really good because you just see the future before it happens. So yeah, I've got NASDAQ on this one. And gold, SP500, Euro dollar. Yeah, so, so far that's all. NASDAQ, gold, Euro dollar, SP500 and Ethereum. All right, hope that helps. Have a good day, everyone. Dramas, let me know.